Hogue Manufacturing was started by my grandfather back in 1959 in Flushing, Michigan. We are the premier manufacturer of hole cutters and magnetic drills in America. We have competition worldwide. Our specialty is finding hole making solutions to innovate future cutting needs. This is our week that they're installing our machine metrics. The guys are great, they're very knowledgeable. What I'm real excited about with machine metrics is, for one, troubleshooting. We're gonna be able to find out if a machine is overloaded. If there's chips that are you know, making the motor work a little bit harder, we're gonna know that before the machine goes down for a few days. Maintenance is gonna be able to do a PM on it and take care of it before it becomes a problem. The engineers that were brought in for machine metrics have been a pleasure to work with. The communication patterns have been great. We have a variety of machine brands out on the manufacturing floor and machine metrics can connect to every single one of them. Regardless of the application and what's going on, they found a way. With the addition of machine metrics, we're going to be able to enhance our automation, our innovation in the future. Everything that we have here is just another step forward. The implementation process at Hogan has so far gone really well. Uh, he's got a really good team here of maintenance and engineers that have been helping us wherever we needed help. We have basically two levels of machine integrations or connections. Uh, level one, which is the data sharing protocol. It's an ethernet connection to the machine. It's a huge amount of data coming from the machine controller that we have access to. With level two, which is your older legacy equipment or custom equipment, we do something called an IO connection, which we uh, look through machine schematics and collect analog signals and send it into our IO module. And using an adapter script, we're able to adjust those signals so that they give you the metrics that you want. For this implementation process, we're connecting 50 of the machines on the floor here. The average implementation process is three to five days. So, I mean, by the end of the week, I expect to be pretty well wrapped up here. With the partnership between Hogan and Machine Metrics, I'm hoping to achieve a better production capacity with the same amount of employees and machines that I have. As everyone knows right now, in today's day and age, there's a labor shortage. It's hard to get qualified employees. And if we can get more out of the employees that we currently have or more out of the machines to allow the employees to produce more parts, that's what we're looking to provide. I want to build towards lean manufacturing, towards the future, and we think that this is going to provide a good avenue towards that. Lean manufacturing here at Hogan sets us apart from everybody else. True capacity is what you want in lean manufacturing. If you do not have the correct cycle times, setup times, your capacity, you're going nowhere. With the addition of machine metrics, so we're going to understand a machine crash. What happened? What can we do to prevent it and mitigate it from ever happening again? These are things that are going to help Hogan tremendously throughout the future. My job requires me to forecast how long are these parts going to run? How long is it going to take for us to run this machine? Machine metrics, that's going to allow me to look at real data, real cycle times, and make my calls, and know that my judgment is going to be that much better, that much more precise in uh, getting things out the door on time. With our partnership with Machine Metrics and Hogan Manufacturing, our future looks really bright, and I only see great things for Hogan Manufacturing with Machine Metrics on our side. The number one thing that will help any company succeed with Machine Metrics is they need a group champion. You need somebody that believes in the product, that understands the future, and has a vision. Without a great team that we have here at Hogan, none of this would have been possible. So I just want to say thank you to my team for helping me get this implemented.